and Serpa is being ungrateful. There was literally nothing in the presence other than sadness and lies. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Lucas and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Now, if you haven't seen the last part, I suggest you go watch it because boy oh boy did a lot happen. So Minnie had her first and last day on the job of the hospital drama. She showed up, her character, you know, had a bit of drama, kissed someone and then tragically died. So that's her one-off appearance on that show. We got her another gig as part of a pirate show, which is... Um, tomorrow, so we'll see that in the next episode, but today, for this episode, we are celebrating Winterfest, that is right, it popped up on the calendar, and I think I skipped the last Winterfest we had, when we had like Queen and Bernie and Perry and all that, and I did it off camera, but I thought, you know what, why don't we do this one on camera, it'll be fun, it'll be like, really happy, now that George is back, you know, as a ghost, yeah, that happened as well, so I've decorated the house, it's all looking jolly, and not only that, but I've also got Zack to an A grade student, which means that we can finally age him up to a teen and maybe flesh him out. So, you know, not only is it Jesus' birthday, but it is also our beloved Zach. So, can you make us a cake, Minnie? Um, cook us a white cake, like the snow outside, that will no doubt destroy the frame rate. There's a little jingle, it's Winterfest. We've got all these dogs. Now, one thing I want to address, one very sad thing. So, sit down. If you're not sat down, sit down. Okay, why can't Minnie cook? I've got some very sad news to deliver, Minnie. So just clean out the spoiled food, bake a cake for Zach. Like, we've got to get this underway. Um, but yeah, someone died, so get a box of tissues, because it is tragic. But unfortunately, I'll see if I can find the notification. Um, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's almost there. Connor Crumbs has passed away. I know. I am heartbroken. He is like child of honor he's the only non-relative on the kids wall like we love him spooks loved him and he is unfortunately passed when he's taking a shower i don't know why i said make a cake for zach it's his birthday um but yeah con is dead and so i was thinking because obviously spooks is alone why don't we invite him around celebrate Winterfest with us him and caitlin so they're not just on their own with a dead relative on Winterfest. Plus, he's a dog lover, so seeing all these dogs, you know, he might actually... That might perk him up a bit, and I guess the ghost of George. Although, then he might be thinking, well, hold on, Minnie. If you've resurrected George, why can't you resurrect my husband? But, like, come on, Spooks. There's, there's a difference between resurrecting a cat and your husband. Like, I'm sorry, we can't do it. That's some culty, necromancy stuff. Although, actually, Jesus rose again, so... Minnie, why are you showering? But, yeah, I mean, I guess if it was Easter, I'd be like, yeah, fine. We could bring back Connor. Jesus rose again. Connor can rise again but i mean it's christmas so that's not happening that's not happening um what am i saying i don't know zach is napping because the damn monster under the bed wouldn't leave him alone his energy is ruined syrupa is perfectly fine syrupa wake up so what we've got to do we've got to um decorate mini's decorated so that's fine um festive spirit so to participate use festive socials okay so maybe maybe syrupa can go over to zach wake him up why is she wearing her big coat indoors i don't know Maybe she wants to go, like, make a snowman or something. Okay, Minnie, are you onto that cake baking? She's not. Okay, can she not reach the fridge? Like, what is happening? What is happening? I know I've got some, like, some candles there, but I don't think they're in the way. Are you locked in? You're not locked in, are you? I, I had no point in lock this door. Maybe it's because I... Oh! Is it this thing on the wall? Blocking the door, maybe? I like that there though. Oh, okay. Maybe not. So yeah, Syrupa, where'd you go? Go and um 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 give Winterfest gift to your brother. Go give this car. Also, someone's been dumping plates on the shelf. Minnie is now going back to that thing. Come on, I it's it's nearly eight and we haven't even got spooks round yet. I wanna do Zack first, so She's washing the dishes in the... Why? Why is this still a thing? The patch came out yesterday and that's still a thing? <sighs> okay, right. I've got to set my timer. I haven't even started my timer. Things already aren't going well. Why can't we have nice things? I just want a nice wholesome winter fest. So she just gave Zach the gift. Um, which is cute. So Zach, you've got to give something in return now. Why don't you re-gift it? <laughs> give her a Teresa the Triceratops. 
and put on some clothes. Actually, it's Christmas. Don't put on some clothes. That's fine. In fact, Syrupa, why aren't even you in your pajamas? This is Christmas. There we go. Oh, the Phantom George is meowing. I'm still not used to that sound. That's really creepy. I've kept his shrine as well because, like, I mean, mad respect to him. He's still dead. But now he's just a ghost, so it'd be rude to just throw his ashes away, you know? Um, right, so... Should we get spooks? No, no, we'll do the, the birthday first. Although, actually, we... No, we could have spooks and Caitlyn come over. Yeah, okay, so Caitlyn and my boy. Spooks. Bless them both. Okay, so they're both on their way over. Zach, oh, trait, forgot, random trait, I always forget we have a trait randomised now, so I don't have to Google it myself. I mean, the decks are up, all the decorations, the house, like, it's full-on festive, I feel like Minnie is a super festive gal, I mean, she's family-oriented, so, like, she's probably, like, loving all the Christmas stuff. Um, yeah, Syrupa, can you let, whoa, how, how old is she, though? Is she an adult? Her voice is so deep. Oh, my God, I think Caitlin's an adult, shut up. She's an adult. Oh my god, where have you been, Caitlin? I haven't seen her in a while. Minnie's taking a while to bake this cake. Like, come on. And Zach, have... Yeah, you just have that cake for now. That's fine. Syrup, are you hungry? Can you let Caitlin in? Um, sheer Winterfest excitement, I guess. Oh yeah, all the dogs are already driving me insane. Like, we have so many dogs. Like, I just... <laughs> Oh, why have I done this to myself? Like, Ratchet wants to go have a walk. Mimi wants to have a walk. I had to lock them out of the kids' room because I just kept barking. Like, they're a handful. Even, like, I'm sorry, Mimi. I know you want to have a walk, but it's Christmas for one. Um, It's freezing outside, and we're going to celebrate Zach's birthday. So, wait your turn. It's not your day, Mimi. It's just not your day, okay? It's Spooks' day. When Spooks gets here, he'll probably play with you. He loves dogs. But... Right now, it is uh, Zach's moment. Zach, where are you? Come and blow out these candles. Oh my god. Teenage Zach, how's it gonna look? Please don't be ugly. Please don't be really ugly. You're like a last boy, so you gotta look good. Yeah, just dump that on the floor. Just right in front of Caitlyn. Um, also, Minnie, can you let her inside? I'm not sure if she knows she can come inside. So, like, come inside. Um, can you give her some... Give her a gift. Go on, what can you give her? Give her this picture of Heidi, I guess. She's making ice cream on Christmas? You maniac. Okay, so Zach's aged up. He is squeamish. Okay, and which one should he be for this? Um, I don't know. Well, he's creative, so I'll go, we can go for the creative one, yeah. Let us go for painter extraordinaire, and he's got some Brad curls on him, and he's naked. Okay, he's... Oh, no, he's, he's got, like, a very revealing, like, G-string on. I was about to say, he would... No. <laughs> come on. Come on, Zach. There are relatives about. There's relatives taking a picture. As long as, you like, the waist below is hidden, fine. Right, where's the nearest dresser? I think it's Minnie's bedroom. Yeah, okay, go and plan your outfits. He looks good looking. Um, I'm not sure about the Brad curls, personally. But... I don't know, I'll see what I can quickly do with him. I don't want to spend too long. Maybe I'll just put him in some quick pyjamas, because it is Winterfest. No sign of spooks. Is he not coming over? I know vampires during the day get a bit fussy because the sun, but, like, it's snowing. So, if not, I'll force him over. So, Nova yeah. As book. He's chosen to wear very little clothing. I might just quickly, like, change up his hair. Um, I feel like long, scruffy hair would suit him, like he had as a kid. Where's the, um... I like this here. Okay, his eyes are a bit too far apart, but he's giving me, like, um, Orion Slade vibes. He's still very, he's a very good-looking kid. Maybe, maybe a bit of stubble? No. Cleanly shaven. He's a bit of a baby face. Okay, perfect. Where's his swim, uh, sleepwear? Let's get him in some proper clothes. He's showing off. Oh, my God. Oh, let's not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep it, like, family-friendly. Can we just have some classic pyjamas? Is there no, like... Oh, there is. It's just not an outfit. Okay, where's the pyjamas? Where's just the classic pyjama plaid shirt? There it is. Just for now. 
just cover up. We've got some relatives coming over, relatives we haven't even met yet, you know? And there we go. Perfect. So Zack is looking fine, might I say. He looks just the same as he was a kid, but just like exactly like same haircut, hasn't grown out of it. Bless him. Now let's get Winterfest underway. Get some gifts going. Uh, get spooks over here. Have a fun time. Got to cook as well. Oh my god. I forgot. Got to like, cook a Winterfest meal. Bit of turkey. Um, question. Do the Americans at Christmas have turkey as well? Because you have it for Thanksgiving. I feel like that's two very close holidays. Both with turkey on the set. Do you, like... So do you have turkey for Thanksgiving and for Christmas? I mean, I love turkey, it's my favourite meat, so like, I can't blame you, but... So, so here in the UK, we don't have, you know, we don't have, um... Uh, Thanksgiving. So we just... We just have it at Christmas, like it's just a Christmas, it's just a... Turkey synonymous with Christmas. Um, go away, Cerulean. That was a bit harsh. <laughs> uh, right. First of all, what are you wearing? No, no. That is not what I gave you. Absolutely not. Right, so Caitlyn is here. Let's get Spooks over here. Uh, I'll just cheat him over. Um, Death's in our French. Should we have Grim come over? I mean... Oh, we can't. I'm about to say, like, he killed... Like, bitch, look at what you try to kill a cat while he's back. So, screw you. Here's your Winterfest gift. Uh, right, where is Spooks? Um, M Where is it? MC cheats, summon sim, there we go. So Spooks is coming over, we're all coming over, Minnie is cooking, Zach, do you want to bust open the gifts to get along with it? Um, open presents with Syrupa. So kids, you open the presents. Minnie's going to be cooking. Oh my god, yeah, Syrupa, why is she, she put on a big old coat again? Like, come on, it's Christmas. I guess she went outside to greet Caitlin, but like... Come on, Zach... Zack is immediately leaving. Like, I'm trying to have a wholesome moment here. And Syrupa is being ungrateful. There was literally nothing in the presence other than sadness and lies. I don't know how these work. Have I got to put things in them? I guess I've got to add presents. Okay, maybe, Zack, can you do that? Add present, maybe? And then sing... Sing... Fingle Zibs with Syrupa? I guess... This is like my first time doing Winterfest properly, so I don't know the ins and outs. So there you go, I think Zach's just put a present in. Oh no, he got a gnome! Um, do you wanna... Now they're singing. Well, Zach is singing. Mimi's whining. Heidi's sleeping. Okay, this is quite wholesome. Who are you? Oh, it's our maid, I was gonna say. What's going on here? Oh no, George is tense. I'm trying to do so many things at once. I manage the kids. Um, where's our feast? Is that the is that the Winterfest cake? You did make it, right? She did. Okay, perfect. Um, I think we left Spooks out on the porch. Oh no, there he is. He's there. Okay, good. Everyone is here. Let's call to meal. I should have got some music going. Like, we always need some Christmas music, don't we? I guess turn on the TV then instead. Um, um, um. No, let's get a stereo. Where is it? Electronics. It just something fell off. I realised we don't have a sound system. What is Christmas without the Mariah Carey? There we go. Turn on. Let's pop on some holiday. There is holiday, right? Winter holiday. Shh. I wanna hear it. It's a bit depressing, then again, like Connor has died, so I don't think Spooks is up for, like, jolly, happy Christmas music. Um, all the all the dogs are whining. None of the dogs are happy. They all have their food, right? Yeah, so just quit your whining. We'll, we'll, I'll walk you in. It's not, like, you know, three feet of snow outside. And also, no one sat down. Come on, guys. We have... Oh, this might be blocking them. Like, we do have a big dining table. Also, can you give, like, just Spooks a hug? Give him a gift as well. Give him... Um, we don't have... Oh, God, what should we get for him? Let's, let's get something. Pop it in our inventory. Give it to him. Um... Um, what... What... What can we 
We can't put like furniture in our inventory, can we? Mm. Oh, why don't we give him... Can we make a copy of this? <gasps> and then give it to Spooks. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is, good. this is such a wholesome, depressing, but sad, bittersweet episode. So many emotions. Okay. Wait, before you go, before you go, before you go. Where is it? Is it in her inventory? It's been sent to Minnie's inventory. Oh, okay, because we have pictures of Heidi. Right, yeah, stick that on the wall, that on the wall. There it is. Spook, spook, spooks. My boy, my boy. Take this as a gift. <laughs> Give him a hug. Um, where's the hug lovingly? Where's the hug lovingly? Oh my god. Hug lovingly. Give him a key. He didn't even have a key. Oh my god. Also, that Spooks is like thick. Like, Jesus. Let's go say hi to Caitlin. She's an adult now. Let's give her a gift. Oh no, we did. We gave her like a picture of Heidi, so. Um. Why don't we just hug her anyway? Because, I mean, literally, like, her dad has died, so we can't ignore her sadness. Can we open some more gifts, or is that it done? I think that's it done. Um, I'll just I'll add more presents if that does anything. I'm not quite sure. Right, how are we doing for time? Because I forgot to set my timer. I think we're, like, 15 minutes in. Not too bad. Um, what else should we do? I don't know. Maybe because like we've exhausted all the Winterfest stuff, we could probably give Zack a makeover? Oh no, we haven't! We've got to have a grand meal. Oh, okay, so she does have to cook something. Where would that be? Oh, cook a grand meal. Um, turkey dinner. So uh, yeah, so Americans must have turkey, right? 75 simoleons. Christ. I mean, we're rich, but like, Jesus. I mean, I guess if you want some of them good quality turkeys. Also, all, this, all these plates left behind. Like, come on. Ah! <gasps> Spooks is bonding with Heidi. Oh my god. He's a dog lover. Makes sense. Sp um, I'm about to call her Spidey then. Heidi needs to pee. Zack, can you just let her out? What else? Um, yeah, so Minnie's on that. Come, just get out of your fur coat, Minnie. It's a bit much. What should we put on? Change outfit to this. This is quite nice. I like this one. Perry Lothario wants to know if I want to come over. No, not at all. This is nice. Should we invite other people around? Like, should we get some other people down here? What about Cerulean? Because she, like, recently left, but she's still part of this gang. So, maybe Cerulean could come over. Mini Junior to cheer up Spooks. Um, we could have Skylar come over later. She is an elder. So maybe, um, I don't know. Brad... Because Brad is like close with Spooks. And then even Mercury maybe. Um, who... They are uh, about to say, maybe Brad's kid. We don't know Brad's kid though, I don't think. So, here they all come. In their freezing cold attire. Zach, you're on door duty. So, go greet all of them. Okay, inviting them to... Oh, they have residence keys, don't they? Duh. Here they all come. Who are you? Okay, you're just a random guy. Yeah, here's Mercury, here's Cerulean. D don't step in the dog poo. Also, why don't we just give them keys as well? Like, I mean, Cerulean should have a key. Mercury, I don't trust her, but she's Brad's wife. No, girlfriend, so... Like, might as well. And is the meal done? <laughs> Cracked it. Minnie's absolutely smashed it. Has she? I think she has. Oh no, she hasn't finished it just quite yet. Um, hopefully we can all sit around the dining table. <gasps> Zack and Minnie Jr. are talking. Oh my god. This outfit as well is like 10 out of 10. Um, are you going to let Cerulean in or just going to ignore her? Give her a residence key. I think that's all of them. No sign of Brad, but he's probably just batting about. He always is. Is Minnie done? Uh, I think she's done. Yeah, I think she just popped in the fridge. It's a bit early now, but... Oh no, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, Minnie, where did you put it? Because it's not in the fridge. 
Oh, it said that she left it in the oven. I'm an idiot. It is early, but like, we don't have loads of time, so I just want to like get it all done. Maybe give Zack a makeup. Actually, I'll say that off camera. I don't like doing cats on camera. It's a bit. Don't really know what to say. It's just me like just checking out hairstyles and stuff. I'd rather just do it off camera, take my time, instead of worrying about like good commentary. Way to go, Mini, you absolute idiot. Um. Also, Father Winter is coming at 8 p.m. near fireplaces, so. We've got that to look forward to. Is she done? Is Minnie done? She is done. Okay, nice. So, no sign of Brad, but that's fine. Hopefully, that's enough for all of us. Let's all. Let's call to Grand Meal. Hopefully, if I call them down by there, like they'll actually sit at the dinner table instead of just standing in the kitchen. Come on, everybody. Come get your stuff. Oh my god, I love the Christmas dinner. Oh, turkey. Turkey gets me going. Stuff in, turkey. Bit of gravy. Lovely. And is that Brad? He made it! As a bat, but... Oh, he, he got his food and he just yeeted off to God knows where. Is he going upstairs? Oh no, he just sat there. I'm about to say, if he goes upstairs, that's very Brad to be antisocial. Look at this. I think, did Caitlin and Connor... No, I mean, Caitlin and Spooks leave? They must have. I mean, we did invite them over pretty early, so they've probably gone home now. Um, to have dinner by themselves. That's fine. That's fine, bless them. I wish them the best. Are we missing someone? We're missing Zack. Oh my god, he's still in bed. It's because of that damn monster. Right, who are you? You the paparazzi? Oh no, it's Tabitha. How could I not recognise Tabitha? And she's a celebrity? How do I not know this? Should we usually give her a key? I want all my kids to have keys because they're all welcome. Also, she's killing it in this outfit and just saying. It's just that CC piece that Minnie Jr. has on. It's just such a good CC. I mean, it's gorgeous. They just took a selfie. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, and Zach can take a selfie for the wall, actually. Right, the lighting isn't great. Come over to the Winterfest tree. It'll be a nice memory to have, just a selfie for you in front of the tree. Um, I might have, if I change his, like, his hair or anything later, I'll have to change the selfie, but that's fine. I might stick with his hair anyway, I like this hair on him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Get the, the, the tree in the background, just to remember. He's got Jesus' birthday. Stick it on the wall next to Cerulean. Pop on a frame. Um, what is it? I think we're light wood. Yeah. I'll just quickly hop into build mode to just fix the positioning a little bit. Perfect. There we go. I mean, it's in the same pose as Cerulean, I'm pretty sure, and that kind of bugs me, but... Oh, well. I might ch Again, I might change it later. I might not. There we go. This has been wholesome. We still have a bunch of turkey dinners left. It can feed us for days. Okay, now all that's left is to wait for... um. What's the name? Winter Father Winterfest? Basically Santa Claus. I'll just fast forward time. Hopefully like they don't burn the house down. I trust you guys and your autonomy to do well. Zach's getting a bit smelly, so maybe you can have a bath. Um No thanks, Reuben. Darwin Goth, don't even know who you are. Oh my god, it's anarchy. Yeah, you can go have a bath, Zach, because you're getting a bit stinky. There we go, so they've got one more tradition left and we've just smashed Winterfest. Oh my god, do we get like something for smashing Winterfest? I hope so. Like we better. Um Come on, Father Wind, I'm waiting for you. I mean I guess we could spend time with the dogs just for now so they don't feel completely neglected, because we have been ignoring all of them. Um George. Let's give them all a big treat as like a gift. That can be like Minnie's gift to them, just a treat. Bless, they have no concept of, of Winterfest. Oh. One of them is bound to run away, let's take some bets. I think OP maybe, because see like, OP, we haven't been spending a lot of time with him because he's like the oldest. Who is the new pet's been getting all my attention. So I think, I think OP might be the next to go. Or maybe Heidi, because she's loyal, so she's clingy, so like, that might, like, encourage her to go if we don't actually reciprocate that, but... Then maybe the loyalty makes her less likely to run away, even? I don't know. Oh, we got rid of George Littray, didn't we? I forgot. Cause he... You're a ghost, George. What are you going to do? You don't pierce. Surely not. 
I mean, he hasn't needed it yet, so... I hope not. Let's just pop that in the fridge. I want it to go to waste. What's this? Turkey dinner. Excellent quality. So I think now we've got to wait. In fact, Minnie, do you want to practice your acting while you're at it? Next episode, she's doing a pirate gig. Maybe we could age up Syrupa, and then that's our final teen. All that's left is to age her up into an adult, and then Minnie is done. Ooh. We'll see. Also, I really want to have a big party on Minnie's last episode with all the kids, but logistically, I don't know if it's going to be possible. I'll have to look into some mods, maybe, just because the guest list amounts. We just about squeezed in enough for the um, birthday party. But, like, I want all of the kids here for the final mini episode. Like, every single one in the house. It's happening. Um, I wanted to have a... I always planned for Minnie to get married to... um. Jarvis on the last episode as well, but that's not gonna happen as we know because he's dead to us But Minnie's strong independent. She's got a ghost cat now. Like what more do you need? Father Winterfest is almost here. Then I'll finally end the episode. Come on We're waiting on you Father Winterfest. Zack's getting a call from um, This guy who's that? Oh, is that Cyrus from Beyond the Grave? And Heidi's being cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, Syrupa, you seeing this? You seeing this, Syrupa? Right, where is- f Oh, there he is! Can we, like, pepper spray him? Like, that- Whoa, 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 hold on. What kind of imposter is this? That is not Father Winterfest. August Christie. Yeah, I think he's just a stand, to be honest. A crazy stand that climbed down our chimney. I mean, I waited for this. For this? He hasn't even put on a- He could have at least put on a white beard. Um, fight Father Winterf- Yeah, that's right. Pepper spray him. <laughs> He's just a creepy stan that's crawled in through our chimney to, like, meet Minnie. Like, oh, I loved your work on the hospital drama. I've got you a special present inside my robe. Just reach in and grab it. Oh, he just showed up and he walked out. Creep. Absolute creep. I hope you freeze to death, you imposter. I've waited for you this whole episode. Ho, ho, ho. ho. Now he's calling us names. Okay, Minnie, beat the ever-loving crap out of this predator. Predator? <laughs> predator. Go on, Chris Hansen him, like, take a seat right there. He's like, where are the kids? They're upstairs. Away from your creepy ass. Right, where is he? He's outside. Come on, Minnie. Whoop him. Oh my god, she's full on doing it. Don't we, We've been working hard as well. We've been working out the last couple episodes, like, getting proper buff, so... Like, you're not one to mess with her. She's got some killer biceps. Come on, Minnie. Take him out. Oh, I think she's winning this. She's so winning this. Oh. Oh. Come on, hurry up. We're going to end the episode. This is a long fight, like Christ. But she won. He didn't like that. Well, get out of my house. No, get out. Right, okay. Um, Did we get a good gift? We got a crystal. I don't think we have in that collection. I mean, I haven't really been collecting them that religiously. But uh, anyway, if you enjoyed today's festive winter episode of the 100 Baby Challenge, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Put a link down below. Feel free to follow it or not. It is up to you, and I will see you guys in the next episode where we are going on a pirate ship. It's going to be lit. I'm so excited. Like, more excited than the hospital drama. Mini is a pirate. Sword fighting. Don't miss it.